Hello guys and welcome to K-Dive. In today's video we will be rating January K-Pop comebacks. If you want to know the system I use for rating these videos, please check the first link down below. And that's it, let's dive right in. This song lives in my head rent free. I really like the lyrics and the song is really heartwarming. I say oh my god like the song now. It is really that addictive. I can never get enough of it. I like both songs so much. They're keeping their album cover but with different colors which I don't mind, but I don't know how to feel about it on the long term. There's a thing about New Jeans dances, it's just how much energy they show. I really love their chemistry as well. The dance is really trendy. The same goes for Oh My God dance. I really love their energy and the chorus part is so addictive. They really showed vintage in their music video. I liked the old school and the sets and the acting. Everything was really good actually. So there is a deep storyline in the music video of oh my god i was really trying to understand everything that was going on i am pretty sure that they changed their stylist it is so much better now and it makes more sense than before i love the vintage school uniforms they're so pretty and simple the same goes for oh my god i like the outfits they are funky like good funky I really like the song, it is quite addictive and the lyrics are well written. The song is good but it didn't give me that wow factor. I enjoyed listening to all the songs, Perfumer is my favorite in this album. I like that both of them had a solo song. The album cover was their picture which again I am not a fan of. They got groove. Their moves are so smooth and the dance is very good. I actually really like the chorus part and I love the dance part after the bridge. The music video was so good. I love the vibe of it. I kept watching it over and over. I love this sort of like dark vibe and they both slayed it. I really like their outfits. It fits the concept so well. I liked all the suits and the small details. They added so much to the look. The song is really addictive. The chorus is fresh and like something new. But the song needs a climax, like after the bridge or something. The songs flew so well together. There were a variety of styles. Crown Jewel is a very unique song. It's like title track worthy. I like the album cover. It is simple, but not bad. The dance actually is well made. The chorus part was really good, but in some scenes, the backup dancers were a little missy. In the live stage, it was better than the dance practice. The music video was full of messages, which is really good. The sets were amazing and the scenes were well taken. The outfits were really pretty and they fit the concept perfectly. I especially like the army pattern ones. The song is really cute and fit the girls, but the song is not catchy at all and like it's really easy to forget and the instruments were a little intense to me. I know that it's a pretty low number, but the songs were not really that unique and no hate at all. I couldn't finish listening to Secret Recipe. It was a little cheesy. The album cover is way too simple, but I like the song Tasty the most. They have really grown. I actually really like the dance. The moves were so good and their facial expressions were spot on. The girls looked so cute and the sits were pretty, but it looked like of a low quality, but it's okay considering they are from a small company and their budget may be small, but it's not bad. The outfits were cute and fits the concept well. They kind of reminded me of Red Velvet's Feel My Rhythm era, but they were a little messy, but not bad. The song is awesome, the chorus part is really addictive, the lyrics were amazing and the song style fits the members voices so much. Their discography is no joke, all the songs were really good, I really recommend Love Color and Tight. 
The album cover is so good, but I don't know if it fits the concept of the album. Their dance moves really improved so much. They have great skills, but they're not well shown. But through this comeback, they showed and improved so much. The music video was like a movie. I liked the office theme. It fits the members so well. They looked so handsome and the MV was of a high quality. They looked so handsome as usual. I really liked the dark green set, but I feel their style Stylist always play it safe, like way too safe. The song is so different than their previous songs. I like the chorus part, beat drop, but when the song finished, I was like, that's it? I actually was waiting for more. The song needs more work, in my opinion. Monster X never disappoint. I really liked all the songs. I recommend Daydream. It is amazing. The album cover was really bland to me. The intro of the dance is really good. I love the moves with the backup dancers, but the chorus part is not as strong and catchy as usual. The music video was so addictive to watch. I loved all the scenes and the sets. They fit perfectly with the concept. I like the white and black sets the most. The outfits were so good. I really liked them. They fit the concept and the members so well. This song is such a vibe. It's really so addictive and it's like literally an anthem i can't get enough of it the lyrics are so good and the song really got me emotional jimin's role model is taeyang and now they are on the same stage plus finally a comeback from taeyang after all those years it's a single so there's no more songs i can analyze the album cover fits the concept well i think there's only a chorus part dance and it was amazing and really catchy and addictive. The music video is so simple in an awesome way. It made Taeyang and Jimin shine so much. The outfits really fit Taeyang so well, like his vibe is flowing in them. The song has this different vibe to it. I actually liked it so much. I liked the chorus part, but there was some loud instruments that I didn't like but I love the bridge. The songs are really good. I can really see potential in them. Their voices are good. The album cover is so good as well. The dance steps were nice and I liked the formation with the dancers, but I felt there was no energy. Maybe they need some time to shine. The music video is actually really good. I like the sets and the concept. It fits perfectly with the song vibe. Their outfits were my favorite part of the debut. I really liked these kind of outfits and the accessories and hairstyles were all on point. The song is really good. The lyrics are so relatable. I love the chorus part as well. But this song really needs a high note or a climax. It's a single with two songs. Wash Away is a great song. I really liked her voice in it. The album cover is really eye-catching. There was no active dance scenes, but she interacted with the backup dancers, which was so good, actually. The music video was so good. I felt like watching a Korean drama, actually. I really enjoyed it. I loved the props as well. And she pulled off the concert concept perfectly. She really can slay both cute and bad concepts. It fits her so well. It's giving me Wednesday vibe a little, but she looks amazing in those outfits. The song is giving me mixed feelings. I liked it. It was not bad at all. It's growing on me actually, but the beat changes were too much towards the end. It felt overwhelming, but I really like their voices and raps and I like the instruments so much. The songs overall were really good. There were a good variety as well. I liked Rose so much and don't let me start on Mala. It's an amazing song. The album cover is simple and good, I liked it. I love their body lines and sharpness while dancing. Their moves were so sharp and I really liked the hook dance. At first I didn't actually, but now I'm obsessed with it. And I love the illusion in the second verse. The music video was of a high quality, of course it's SM. Their music videos never fail me. And the music video is screaming expensive. 
The outfits are so pretty, I love these sparkles so much, and I loved how each member wore something that really fits them. The song is good overall, I like the pre-chorus so much. The chorus and the post-chorus aren't doing it for me though, it's not really that catchy. I liked all the b-sides actually, all of them are flowing well together and they fit the album well. I liked Parade, in my opinion it should've been the title track, the album cover felt like it was taken from Pinterest. The dance actually is my favorite part this comeback. I liked how energetic and sharp they were, and the dance is really addictive and fun to follow. I like the music video overall, I like the Aurora scene, but the MV needs more life in my opinion. The sets were pretty, but they need more props and work. The outfits were weird, like the first set doesn't make sense at all. The other outfits are fine, but not really unique or different. The song is amazing and Jin Young shocked me with his voice. He can really go deep. The song is so good and a great fit for winter. Jin Young melts my heart with his voice. I liked all the songs so much, especially Litter. The album cover is just his picture, which I'm not a fan of. At first, I thought there was no dance for this song, but there is actually. The dance is pretty carefree i don't know how to describe it but it really felt free like you can think that the moves are freestyle but they're really coordinated and i liked his energy with the backup dancer the music video concept was so good i like the college concept i feel like i have not seen it in k-pop before there was not much of outfits that i could analyze but he nailed each outfit from the music video and the photo shoot i liked them all When I was listening to this song, all that was in my head is how different this song is. I really liked their vocals and the lyrics were so nice, but a tiny thing I didn't like is the I getcha line. I feel it didn't fit, but other than that, it's perfect. It's a pre-release single and I like the song cover. Did Twice ever fail us in dancing? I don't think so. I like the chorus part so much, it's really addictive and catchy and it's really fun to follow. The music video was so good. I I liked all the sets and colors, I liked the props and like those keys things, I really liked them. Everything was magical in this music video. The outfits were good and fits the concept. I could only see the ones in the music video, but I really liked them. I didn't really expect much since it's an AI group, but I love the song actually. The song is amazing, really catchy, and so addictive. I love the chorus so much, and their voices are amazing. There is another song called Wonderland, and it's a masterpiece as well. I really liked it. The album cover is really eye-catching. I still can't believe that they prepared a stage for Inkigayo. The dance looked amazing, it's really catchy, but their facial expressions were a little creepy. The music video was good, I liked the scenes so much, they really put so much effort into making it. I liked the details and the hair movement and everything. Okay, so I'm really confused on how to rate their outfits, but it was good and like nothing too weird, but I really don't know how I'm gonna rate AI outfits, like, uh, but they're good. The song is really nice, the hook part is really good and addictive. I didn't really like the verses as much as the chorus, but the lyrics are so good and quirky. It's a single with two songs, Left Right should be another title track in my opinion. I loved it so much, the album cover is simple but good. XG never disappoints in this aspect. The hook dance is really good and I really like the first verse dance. Like, they are great dancers. The music video felt like it was all over the place. I liked some sets, but they didn't have any relations together. Each set feels like a different concept and they used CGI in a distracting way. The outfits are fine, they fit the concept, but they are not the style that I prefer, but it goes well with the song. 
this song really captivates. I listen to it and sing it the whole day. Everything is amazing about it, but I really wanted to praise Bongyu. He really showed progress in this comeback. Each comeback, they prove that they have no skip discography. Every song is amazing. The whole album vibe is matching so well and the album cover is perfect. The dance is amazing. The hook part is so catchy. I love the stunts they did, like how Yeonjun lie on the members and their dynamics are perfect. I don't want to talk so much about the music video because no words are enough to describe how perfect the music video and the storyline are. The outfits fit perfectly with the concept and I really like their makeup and hairstyles so much and I really liked how they filled their body with glitter. It fits amazingly well with the song. The song is an amazing debut song. I really liked it. The hook part is really addictive. The lyrics are so nice as well and I like their vocals so much. I'm actually shocked of their album. Each song is really good. You really should listen to Say My Name and Heartache. I like the album cover. It was simple but eye-catching. The intro dance got me good. I love their energy so much. The dance is really addictive, especially the na 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 part. It's amazing. The music video was really colorful. The boys looked so handsome and the sets were good, but it felt like it was all over the place and really messy. I love the orange overalls. They were actually really funky and cute. The outfits are so youthful and like really pretty and eye-catching. The song takes a few listens to like it. I love their vocals so much this time and the rap parts were so unique. The instruments are a little overwhelming to me. It's a repackaged album with 15 songs. Three of them are new. I like them so much, especially DJ. It's really groovy and good. The album cover felt like it had nothing to do with the concept. The dance was really good. The members slayed it. I love their groove so much. The hook part is really addictive. The formation was teeny tiny bit messy. The music video really fits the concept of the song. I liked all the sets. They were all luxurious and fancy, especially this white set. I like the outfits, they fit the member and the concept so well, but I feel like I've seen them so much with this style before. I think their stylists should start exploring new styles. They changed their style and I love it. I like this song so much. It's calm but really exciting. I like the lyrics so much as well. All the songs were good and really easy to listen to. I recommend Love or Die. It's an amazing song. The album cover is really good. I liked it. The dance is surprisingly good. While watching the dance, I couldn't blink. The dance is really good and strong and really addictive and catchy. The music video is amazing. I felt like I was watching a movie. Each set was so good. I love the store set. It looked so good, especially the flower aisle. The outfits are really simple. They are kind of plain, but I don't know why they caught my attention so much, especially the suits. And that's it for today's video, guys. Tell me what do you think about these comebacks in the comment down below and which was your favorite. Don't forget to subscribe because that really helps me make more videos. And that's it. Love you so much. Bye.